Hopcat is a popular bar in Westport that hides a very tasty secret in the basement of the building. Head downstairs and discover a world called Tiki Cat. We have a light system here that allows people to see if there's capacity or not. Okay. We only fit about 48 people in the room, uh, with staff included, so it's very strict. So hopefully, oh, look, there it is. The light's green, which means now we can go in and enjoy a beverage. Magic. Let's ring the doorbell. Oh, and I think I heard it beep. Here we go. Welcome to Tiki Cat. If you want a quick escape from the snow and cold, then throw on a Hawaiian shirt and prepare for a Polynesian party. Aloha. <laughs> Welcome to paradise. Tiki Cat is a visual feast for the eyes. The blowfish bar lights change colors. Island-themed artwork adorns nearly every nook and cranny, and the quirky collection of Polynesian pop art is flat-out fun. Tiki statues, tiki mugs, tiki huts across from the bar. Here, you definitely feel like you're somewhere else. It does not feel like Kansas City at all. It feels like a complete escape. Elizabeth Rosen says she has two good reasons to visit Tiki Cat, the atmosphere and the drinks. It's just a fun place to be. The vibe is really different than anything else in Kansas City. There's no politics down here. The outside world doesn't exist. When you walk in this room, you're walking through a portal into a safe place that everyone can enjoy. What do you guys like? If Tiki Cat is a treat for the eyes, Pumba says their island-themed drinks are tasty on the tongue. Let's do it. Tonight, he's concocting a painkiller, their best-selling drink, made with fresh-made coconut cream, OJ, pineapple juice, and rum. Just a touch. Topped off with fresh nutmeg. All right, and your painkiller is served. There you go. Be healed! Oh, hello. Right? That's delicious. White like snow, Ooh. but tastes nothing like it. Wow. And on a day like today, when it's snowy and icy outside, and you can escape down here and have one of those, it's a beautiful thing. Pumba says creating drinks at Tiki Cat is a combination of playing tour guide and bartender. And then I'm going to be making my signature recipe, which is Puka Pumba's Paradise Punch. It is boozy and fruity and slightly devious, just like myself. It's rum punch with attitude. Topped off with... A little banana me with an umbrella hat. <laughs> In fact, Pumba goes bananas for his fruity drink garnishes. <coughs> if you want in on this, better book a reservation. This isn't just a local hang. In 2017, Critiki.com, a website devoted to all things tiki bars. Well, isn't this nice? <laughs> named Westport's Tiki Cat the world's number one tiki bar. Brisbane, Australia, Australia, London, England, Paris, France. I mean, people are coming from different countries just to come to Kansas City because we're the number one tiki bar in the world. And if that's not lofty enough, Pumbaa says Tiki Cat's Mai Tai drinks are rumored to be among the best on the planet. But if booze isn't your thing, no worries. We specifically created um, non-alcoholic juice blends for people who, you know, may not be the drinker type, but they want to come down and enjoy the space too, because this should be enjoyed by everybody, as long as you're 21 and over. <laughs> Okay, I was serious about making reservations. Right now, there's about a four week wait if you want to go to Tiki Cat on a weekend. Now, if you have a favorite brewery, distillery, or nightclub you'd like me to feature, let me know on Twitter at BradKCTV5.